inspiring sight. I was expecting great things even in fine weather. In the rain, look at this. This is the most incredible sight I can remember ever seeing. The sharper critical thinkers among you may have discerned that I don't come from these parts. <laughs> I see myself as an emissary from a benighted country that does not have a constitutional separation between church and state. Indeed, we don't have a written constitution at all. We have a head of state who is also the head of the Church of England. The church is deeply entwined in British public life. The American Constitution is a precious treasure, the envy of the world. The First Amendment to the Constitution, which enshrines the separation between church and state, is the model for secular constitutions the world over and deserves to be imitated the world over. How sad it would be if, in the birthplace of secular constitutions, the very principle of a secular constitution were to be betrayed in a theocracy. And it's come close to that. How could anyone rally against reason? How is it necessary to have a rally for reason? Reason means basing your life on evidence and on logic, which is how you deduce the consequences of evidence. In a hundred years' time, it seems to me inconceivable that anybody could want to have a rally for reason. By that time, we'll either have blown ourselves up or we'll have become so civilized that we no longer need it.